King Crosby. Hey guys, it's King Crosby back with another new player's tips and tricks. And today I'm going to be talking about setting up your user interface for the first time. Now, this is what it looks like when you first log into the game. I just made this character. He's brand new. So at first, you're going to see this alarm window. And what this alarm window is for is uh, for setting a time limit. And then when the time limit is over, it'll make like a really loud horn sound to let you know that your time has passed. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. I don't want to hit don't, do not show this window again because I do like to use this sometimes. But uh, I'm just going to skip it for now. These are the tips of the day. Now, uh, be aware that all these tips do not apply to Project 1999 because this is the Titanium client. A lot of these tips are made for uh, live EverQuest, so I, you can just go ahead and hit don't show any more tips on here and that will never pop up again. <clears throat> now, the third thing I want to talk about is the songs window. In live EverQuest right now, songs are separate from uh, effects. Uh, so you can have, uh, I think, I don't know how many effects you can have on live stacked at a time, but songs are separate from that. Not on Project 1999. This is like original EverQuest, and in original EverQuest, songs were a part of effects, and you could only have 15 effects going at the same time. So song, the songs window is not used, so you can go ahead and X out of that. Now you will notice that everything is completely movable. So I'm going to throw the effects window. This is how I like to set mine up right here. I put the effects up here and then I grab, this is the uh, window that shows your life and your mana. And I like to put this up here because my webcam is right here for when I'm streaming. So, I mean, you can put it wherever you want. This guy right here that is empty, this is your target window. I like to put that next to my life window because if I'm looking at my target's health, I would like my life to be very close to the target's health so I can see both at the same time. And this is your spell window, your actions window, your grouping window. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and set these up how I like them. Okay, this button right here, this is your main EverQuest uh, button. And when you hit this, you have uh, access to all the menus. Now, be aware, a lot of these menus do not work on Project 1999. For instance, the Atlas map, the compass, the find, all that stuff that doesn't work. So, But this is still nice because I like to use this to just go and look at my skills. Now, these uh, tutorials will pop up uh, if you want to have the t t blah, I <clears throat> can't talk. If you want these tutorials to keep popping up, but you don't want to see the same one twice, you can hit don't show this tip again. If you don't want to see any tutorial tips, then hit do not show any tips. But I would recommend uh, if you're a new player to just check them off one at a time don't show this tip again I'm gonna go ahead and put don't show any tips because I don't think I need any more tutorial tips this guy right here is your hot buttons and there's a couple things you'll notice here sit is on a hot button you can leave that there if you want um, but I like to remove that because I like to just use the slash sit command which is slash sit and slash stand or uh, I just like using the button that's in the actions window right here. So in order to get rid of that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and you're going to hold. It pops off onto your mouse cursor. You can put it somewhere else or you can click on the screen and drop it. The find button is also not used in Project 1999. So we can click and hold and get rid of that as well. The spells button opens up your spells book. And that is the same thing as your spell window over here. The little button at the bottom there is the same thing. So I like to get rid of that as well. Now let's talk about the chat window. Uh, by default, you are given this chat window, which has everything go through it. And trust me, a lot of crap goes through that. So what I like to do is right click, go to new chat window, and then we can rename this chat window. And I'm gonna name this combat. Now that I got this named combat, I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go to filters melee and I'm gonna put your hits and then I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna do oops this is kinda of sensitive your misses you being hit and you being missed so now all of the melee combat uh, involving me is gonna go into this window now you can also abbreviate it and um, let me go quickly find something to hit so I can show you what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna going to pick a fight with this decaying skeleton so that we can test. Okay, so the melee combat is going to the combat window now, and it's not going into my main chat window. 
Now I'm going to show you how to abbreviate this. So when you come down, you can see hit modes. If you go to your hits, you can go normal, abbreviated, or number only. I like abbreviated, and I'll show you what that is. I'm going to do your hits, abbreviated, your misses, abbreviated, you being hit, abbreviated, and you being missed, abbreviated. Alright, now let me go find another fight. Alright, this moss snake will do. Now see how nice, uh, that's, that's way cleaner right there. So now that it doesn't take up as much room, I can go ahead and take this window and I'm going to make it thinner. I'm going to make it about that thin. I'm going to bring it down like this. I'm going to sit it right here. Oh god, I'm poisoned. Okay, I'm going to run back to the guards. I might die during this tips video. <laughs> oh, help me guard, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Jesus, help me, help me. I'm going to show you first how to lock the window. So when you go to window, the window option, you can see a lock button. And doing that will make it so that you cannot move your window around. And you can do that for every window. So if I wanted to do it for my spells, I right click, I lock. Now I can't accidentally move that around. Now for the alpha of the window. If you go to window, you can go to alpha. There you get two options. You get normal and faded. Normal is what it looks like all the time. So if we set that to 50, it should be at 50% opacity. And now faded is when you don't have your mouse over it for more than like two seconds. So if we set that to 50 as well, now we have a window that is always 50% faded. And it makes it so that you can see a little bit better. Now another thing that you can do, I don't really like doing it, but you can set the windows to not have a texture behind them. So if I go to window and I go to background and I go to tint color and set it to black, oops, that puts black on top of the texture. Go to window, background, texture. Okay, so messing around with the alpha and changing the tint color level, turn it to like a gray. We get this kind of transparent, non-textured looking group window. So that you can see a little bit better. And you can do that with everything. Let's say I want like a green style interface. You can make your whole interface any color that you want. You can It's highly customizable by default. So that is my uh, user interface tips. And uh, you can make as many windows as you want. I think on uh, my Rogue that I, sh that I stream on often, I have a window for group chat. I have a window for combat. I have a window for... Uh, tells or whispers or whatever you want to call them i have a window for other people's damage and i have a window for my guild chat so it's all separated so nothing gets lost easily if i want to see some a specific piece of information i just look at the window but uh that is it and i will see you guys in the next tip video